That was Evan Lambert reporting, but we we're going to have more on this story because clearly it is a nationwide phenomenon. It's not just about Moore County, North Carolina. And we're going to welcome in Robin Dreek, a retired FBI special agent and the head of the Counterintelligence Behavioral Analysis Program. Thank you for joining us, Robin. Oh, my pleasure, Mitch. So I, I want to ask you first, uh, the FBI is involved here. When does this get elevated? Like what factors in the case allow it to be elevated from Moore County to a federal, to a state level and then to a federal level? What are the aspects of the crime that make it something that the federal government needs to get involved in investigating? Sure. The first thing that comes to mind is the fact that it's interstate. Inter anytime it goes interstate is federal level. The second one also is resources that come to bear on this. You know, the federal level and the FBI does have a lot more resources than typically state and locals do. And just the databases and potential for external threats as well comes to play. Uh, and for those that don't know Moore County, North Carolina, it is a rural county. It's where Pinehurst is located, where you might have seen the U.S. Open played. It is southwest of Raleigh. It's sort of south and east of Greensboro. So it's kind of in uh, not a heavily populated area. Um, I wonder, though, the significance that this was a physical attack with guns, with bullets, as opposed to something digital, because we've been worried about digital warfare for years that they could attack power and substations, and, and this was just somebody shooting guns at the substations. Yeah, that struck me as really effective either by design or by mistake, because that, we've been really looking at the cyber threat we have against our critical infrastructure around the country and trying to harden ourselves against that, against state actors and really sophisticated organizations. But this being very manual, granular in detail with firearms was striking, but extremely effective. Now, it is something, like you said, that I think the federal government has been concerned about for quite some time. Uh, but how vulnerable is the American electrical grid to such an attack, whether it be physical or a cyber attack? It's as vulnerable as our ability to project where the threats are coming from are and the resources we have to direct against those threats. As the last commentator said, it's about money and resources. I, I, I think what's going to happen now is the fact that this has happened. It's going to redirect those resources and start hardening those targets. But the most critical element that's coming at us is the insider threat, as they're starting to allude to this possibly might be. Yeah, well, how does that change the investigation too? How does how does the FBI? I guess it might narrow the investigation, but I don't know. I'm asking the question to you. <laughs> yeah, it's potentially if, if for especially down in Florida where you have individuals that look like they really knew the system. That's either coming from someone who's probably been employed there, employed by systems like that. And if it's a number of people, that means there's probably something going on in a culture, in a corporate culture that might not be as, be as healthy. But those are the things I'm going to be looking at, not saying that's what's going on. But those are the things I'm looking at for inside a threat is what's going on internally with human resources and how people are being treated that wants them to be, a, in, that inspires them to be inside a threat, in other words. Well, so that, that's, that speaks to, you mentioned corporate culture, that speaks to uh like a disgruntled employee or ex-employee or a disgruntled employee of a different organization that wants to do something, the authorities in Moore County have not wanted to call this yet domestic terrorism. So I wonder what you would have to see if you're investigating to go, okay, this is not a disgruntled employee, this is a terroristic attack. What's the line there? Well, it's a rough line sometimes when you're dealing with domestic terrorism, but if they can start drawing a co correlation between Florida and North Carolina and possibly any other things, that's more organized. And the more organized and larger you get in scope, the more likely it is to be domestic terrorism labeled. Wow. Okay. It is really interesting uh, what's going on, especially now that we know it's a little bit more nationwide than we previously expected. So Robin Dreek, a retired FBI special agent and the head of counterintelligence behavioral analysis, we thank you for your expertise and thanks for joining the show. My pleasure, Mitch. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-based, unbiased coverage.